Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to As we prepare to celebrate the second anniversary of the overturning of Roe v. Wade by the Supreme Court, we thank God for the innocent children whose lives were saved by that decision. The countless children that we will never know, God was able to keep safe and to protect and to raise to his glory, to his life. But I must tell you at the same time, the battle is hardly over. Last week, for instance, the New York Times, one of the most prestigious newspapers in this country, wished a happy Father's Day to the, to the husbands and the significant others of women who aborted their babies. Wished a happy Father's Day to the fathers who supported the killing of their children. Our prayers must continue, our witness must continue, our work must continue. The support of it will lead to letters to our congressmen, will it lead to this witness in the streets, the March for Life, the contributions that we make to help support mothers who choose life to help them raise their children, to provide them with a home and all the needs, all the, the food and clothing and the amenities of this life. Whatever we can do, the world must go on to protect life, to ensure life. Because if we can take the lives of innocent babies, we can take the life of elderly people who are no longer functional. Or we can take the life of anyone who for any reason we feel is not worthy of the gift of life. And so dear friends, please pray with us, please pray for us, please pray for an end. There has to be another way, and there is. There is adoption at one end, and then there is abstinence at the other. If someone's not ready to be a mother or a father, don't do what will make you a mother or a father. But don't kill the baby. As we celebrate this anniversary, we continue to pray for the repose of the souls of those innocent babies who have lost their lives since Roe v. Wade began. We will never forget those lives and those who continue to be forced to join them abortions to this day and until abortion ends in this land and throughout the world. May God give them a kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, sighing, but life everlasting. And may he offer forgiveness to all of us for all the mistakes that we've made in our lives. Ours is a forgiving and loving God. We appeal to His forgiveness and love that we promise to work for life, the life of the unborn. God bless you, God keep you, God ever love you. Thank you, Father, and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Christ is in our midst. Thank you, sir.